Necesito el baño. Karen, siempre dices esas palabras. Tienes que decir con palabras diferentes. Necesito el baño. Necesito el baño. If I were in Mexico with only limited knowledge of Spanish, I would have to rely on catchphrases that I've heard before, especially for emergency purposes like this one to use the bathroom. I was using these words as a survival tool, but if someone were trying to take these words away from me, I might explode, figuratively and literally. Echolalia is the repetition or echo of the exact phrases someone else has spoken. Echolalia is also referred to as scripting, like an actor's memorized lines. People with autism utilize echolalia because they want to engage in meaningful social interactions, but they don't have the necessary language skills. Dismissing, discounting, or ignoring echolalia would be an injustice to the person with autism. Let's look at some ways how you as the parent can respond to echolalia to create more productive communication. Let's say that your daughter wants a snack and you hold up two different items and ask, do you want the strawberry or the banana? If she is a child with very limited language skills, she may be unable to form the language or words to make a choice. So she grabs at the banana while immediately echoing, do you want the strawberry or the banana? In this case, it's necessary to break down the language into a simpler form. Hold up both items without saying anything, or say something like, it's snack time. For whichever item your child reaches, state her preference. So, if she takes the strawberry, say, you want the strawberry. If your son is afraid of a spider nearby, he might say something like, the needle will only hurt for a little while, he is saying this because in previously fearful situations, such as the doctor's office when getting a shot, he has heard you say this before, and it's the only script he may currently have to express this emotion. To help him find words that go together with this spider situation, you can cue into his meaning and model words with the same emotion like, oh no, there's a creepy crawly spider. Other times, perhaps your child tends to echo or script something randomly throughout the day, like a popular TV commercial with its hypnotic message. This is a sign that he's bored and doesn't know what to do or think about at the moment. You can break this echolalic pattern by stimulating his thoughts with an activity together. For example, work together on a favorite jigsaw puzzle while asking provocative questions like, where do you think this piece fits? and ask for his help through gripping emotional comments like, Ugh, I'm so confused about where this missing piece is. When you notice your child using echolalia, try to identify the reason behind it so that you can shape his or her communication. Echolalia can take many forms, like immediate repetition of someone's words, or as an expression of emotion using previously heard phrases or catchphrases heard repeatedly. Using these techniques we've explored, you can enhance your child's communication so both of you can begin enjoying richer experiences together. I'm Karen Kabaki Sisto, a speech language pathologist, applied behavior analysis instructor, and developer of a life-changing communication method on an iPad app called I Can Have Conversations With You, available on the App Store. To learn more of my techniques to help your child, and to see if my unique therapeutic method can empower your son or daughter, please visit my website, iCanForAutism.com. Stay tuned for more helpful videos from me. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Remember to subscribe to my channel and please comment below. Thanks for watching.